Hey fellow Star Wars citizens, Scrapchat here. Today I thought I'd uh, do a little drug running in the C1. Kind of go back to my roots a little bit. Uh, I did quite a bit of it uh, back in the day when I was basically penniless and poor. One place I liked to visit was Jumptown because that's where you could easily get the most slam. I mean, yeah, sure, you could you could get it from private property on selling uh, also, but you only got a few SEU and then you'd have to wait a while for a few more SEU. Jumptown always seemed to have a decent amount available. The problem was making routine trips from Jumptown to Brios or wherever. Um, so I came up with a solution uh, to that. And while it's not exactly perfect, it's, it's definitely made my uh, game session pretty painless. So let's go relive my Star Citizen childhood with my very cool and stylish looking C1 and run some drugs. And if you're interested in playing Star Citizen, make sure to use the referral code listed here and also in the description. You'll earn additional credits of in-game money when you do. If you're a subscriber, leave a comment with your referral code. We'll randomly choose someone's referral code and promote it in our next video. I also belong to an awesome org and Discord server called Star Citizen Friends and Mentoring. Uh, if you're looking for people to talk about Star Citizen with, spend time uh, playing the game and, and learning the ins and outs of Star Citizen, check us out. The link to the Discord server is also in the description. All right, let's get started. Okay, so um, what I used to do when I when I ran drugs to Jumptown is I'd take a uh, package mission, uh, which we're going to do here, see if I can find one local. Um, yeah, that looks good. Yep, yep, because that's actually on Daymar, so I think we're going to take that. Anyway, uh, in order to uh, make my mm, uh, runs a little faster, I need a, a package, basically. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run over to Daymar. And we're going to grab that package. All right, let's see if that mission showed up yet. Yeah, I see it's in the top thing there. All right. Awesome. So, yeah, we're going to day. Apparently, I we're going to Daymar anyway, and the package is there. I It's been so long since I've ride, since I have um, run drugs. I didn't, well, yeah, run drugs from labs that are not, uh, that you can't quantum to. It's been so long. They've moved them. I, I looked up how to get to how to get to Jumptown, and it moved from Yella to to uh, Daymar. I was like, "You've got to be kidding!" And isn't that like a cool looking ship? I love my C1. I mean, it's kind of boxy, so trying to take off and land in a hangar is a little. You gotta watch out. Gotta check all your your front, and back, and sides. But it's such a cool ship. I really like it. So yeah, I've been running around with the C1 for a while, just doing, as my daily driver, you know, doing whatever. So we're going to head on over to Daymar here. All right, let's go get our package. And of course, always remember to close your uh, rear hatch because there are jerks everywhere in Star Citizen. Wow, not a whole lot to loot around here. Oh, there's a. No. I got plenty of food on me anyway. I don't really need anything. But So, our little package here. Is uh, going to act as our marker for Jump Town when we get there. So we'll never actually deliver it. We're just going to take it with us 
leave it at jump town and that'll make it much much easier because when you see what to go through to get there oh my god i mean there are different ways to do it i think to get there but um i use a website uh called uh first guide and uh, it can get you pretty much anywhere and they're the Instructions are, are easy enough to follow, and they're very, very accurate. But, okay, don't fall through the floor. <laughs> but uh, but it is, it, it's not a, a not a pleasant experience to have this stupid loot thing. Uh, come on, stupid chair. It's a good thing I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> Let's try from this side. There we go. But yeah, it's not a, exactly a pleasant experience trying to travel to one of these locations that's not, you know, you can't quantum to. But we only have to do it once with this package. Once we drop the package off, it's you can't quantum to it, but it's a lot easier to fly to. I wonder what that guy's doing. I always, I always am curious as what other people are doing just out in the middle of nowhere. I don't. Uh, oh, you know what? I think, <laughs> I think this guy was involved in a, ended up on the wrong end of a uh, bounty mission. I bet. Yeah, or he got uh, griefed. Oh well. Time to move on. We got work to do. Okay, so we're going to follow the instructions from First Guide on how to actually get to uh, Jump Town, on which has now, like I said, moved to Daymar, which I find just bizarre, but whatever. So step one here is to quantum over to OM3. Uh, where is it? Oh, is that it? No, of course not. But you know what? We'll go there. See if we can find LM3 a little easier from here. A little higher up in orbit. Yes, there we go. Okay. So we quantum to OM3. That's step, well, one. And then we need to fly. Where is it? Here it is. We need to fly to within 100 meters of OM3, and I try and get it pretty exact, so this might take a second or two once we get there for me to be right on the money. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now we need to um, point to OM2. Where is it on two? OM2, OM2, nope. There we go. So now we gotta fly to we're within 378 kilometers of OM2. And see, this is why this is really painful. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do this four or five times a night, um, so that's why I said we do this once we get our box set up, and we should be pretty good for several runs at uh, Jump Town. Okay, perfect. And now we want to point directly at the center of uh, the moon, so we look for right there where it says Tamar, and it gives you the distance, 313.3 kilometers. Now we want to reverse, <laughs> fly in reverse, uh, until we're at 352 kilometers. So that's what I want to do now here. All right, there we go. That's good. All right, now the last step, we need to find OM5. Uh, OM6, OM7. Uh, I bet just this one. Yep, there we go. Now we need to fly 
to OM5 until we are 2,000 meters uh, in altitude and uh, 451.2 kilometers away from OM5. All right, I think we're about there. Eh, a little closer. But I'm liking this spot right here. Yeah. So basically, we're right above it, or we should be. So again, we just kind of point at Damar and fly straight down. The nice thing is it is dark, which is good, actually, uh, because when we get down to probably around a kilometer above the surface, we should be able to see uh, the lights from the uh, from Jump Town. I'll turn my lights on, but just so I don't hit the ground. But uh, yeah, and, uh, we'll get a little further down. We'll see the lights from from Jump Town, I bet. And there is another ship kind of behind us, and I bet you that's probably where it is. But I'm going to look around and scan here. Let's see what we got. Yeah, see, there's the lights. I, and we're, really, we're basically right on top of it. I mean, I... I can't imagine better instructions than what we just went through from verse guide and it looks like it's a cutty well we're going to take a chance it, worst case even if i get killed if i just get the stupid box out i'll be happy because <laughs> yeah, at least once with the boxes down we don't have to go through all those steps we just went through we're just gonna have to we're just we just fly straight here i mean i'll i'll pick like the closest point um the closest point that I can, and then we'll have to obviously fly the rest of the way. But usually I can get within about 100 kilometers. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll fly 100 kilometers to jump town. This thing's pretty fast, really, for, you know, what it is. So we just need to get a spot going down. And I do use reshade, so right now I've got the uh, night vision turned on. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd never be able to see anything. Make sure the uh, the ramp can touch the ground. That's always a good thing. Yep, looks good. Turn off the engines. Looks like we're kind of teetering there a little bit, but yeah, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, it looks good. I don't see anybody running around. Yeah, you know what? Let's move a little bit. <laughs> Just eh, get a little closer. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's do that. All right. Then I'm just going to take my little tractor beam here in a second. Hope the doors want to open. Come on. Thank you. Alright, let's just get the box going. Usually I just, sometimes I'll try and not hide it, but I won't like leave it completely out in the open, but eh, I'm just going to stick it over there. It's pretty innocuous. I don't think anybody will... Mm -hmm. Of course, it glows in the dark. God, well, whatever. Did the door close? I hate it when this... This is the most finicky button. There we go. I think that's, yeah, that's it. Anyway, so we run inside. Hope to God nobody's in there waiting for me. <laughs> Oops, yeah, got a cycle. Cycle the airlock. And hopefully we're on the right side. We are. That's great. And let's see what we got for slam. Uh, pick the C1. Wow. 20 SEU. Oh my god. I mean, I said I haven't done... I didn't take... Try that again. That's better. I haven't run 
drugs like this in a while. I'm not used to getting... Eh, we'll try out. It's... Eh, we'll fill up with that this time. I haven't run drugs in a while, but, man, back when I used to do it, we would get, like... Yeah, whatever. We're not going to get any more. Whatever. We're full. Yeah, we're full. Um, but, yeah, I would get, like, five SCU of, of, of slam, and then I had to wait, like, ten minutes to get another five SCU. And we just got 20. And this is not in the PTU. This is live. So this is normal. I'm like, wow, that's insane. I think things have changed a little bit since I've been away. All right, so we've got our drugs. We've dropped off our box. Now we're going to make a hightail it to Brio's, which is on the same moon, It's which is awesome. I mean, really, that just... Talk about a short trip. You know, as long as Brios is agreeable, and, you know, there's not... not a bunch of uh, griefers flying around or pirates or whatever. Okay, let's crank her up. Get the clown drive going here. So yeah, that was a pretty painless experience. I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, sometimes that's the hard part, too. But yeah, 20 SCU, there was no reason to even wait. I was like, oh, I guess we're full. I mean, I guess I could have sat around and waited for more SCU. I really need to get some... Let's see. Yeah, we'll go to M3. I mean, I could have sat around and waited for more slam, but... Oops, forgot the gear. <laughs> But this is also a test run. We'll be doing. I'll be doing this a lot tonight. I mean, not recording at all, but this is how I'll spend my evening: is uh, just running slam, back and forth to Brios until until Brios becomes a problem. Then I'll go somewhere else. And the nice thing is, the C one comes standard with a uh, uh, Jaeger, which is a Class B uh, quantum drive. And it's got the Quantanium to go get you back and forth to wherever you want to go a couple times, really. So I'm thrilled. Uh, a really fast drive with a lot of Quantanium is, is, a, is a good recipe for, you know, for uh, running drugs. All right, let's see what we got. I don't see anybody. And my rule is if I see people, I don't bother I go somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. I might take a look around just real quick. Maybe it's an abandoned vehicle, but but usually I will go somewhere else. I think I see a vehicle. <laughs> yeah, there's somebody sitting down there. I will take a shot. I mean, if they're flying around, definitely don't uh, just go go somewhere else. It looks like this guy isn't even near the uh, near Brios, really. Like he's off to the side or something. So I think it's okay. Yeah, I think it's okay. And it's daylight, which is kind of helpful. <laughs> so yeah, now that we're at Brio's, this is one of the scrapyards. Um, there's four, I think, in the Stanton system. There's this one. Uh, there's a one on Walla. What's that called? I forget. Samson and Sons, I think. Um, there is one on uh, Uterpy. Uterp. <laughs> uh, Dev that's Devlin Scrapyard. And then on Hurston, uh, there's one that I like to go to. Oh, there's some stuff below us there. I wonder what that is. There's um, there's one over on Hurston called the Orinth and Reclamation Center. And that one, 
I think that's the best place to go, honestly. That place is very quiet. Man, did I park far away. <laughs> uh, I could have gotten a lot closer, but whatever. Um, and again, always check, make sure you're... Make sure your ramp touches the ground. I've accidentally stranded myself here on more than one occasion because I didn't check the ramp. And it was uh, just high enough that I couldn't get up onto the ramp and I couldn't find any. Like there is a, a box right there were there. I could use that to get back on, but I've done that in the past too. Uh, but I've, I've been here too where I did not have a box and I couldn't get back on the ramp and I was just kind of stuck. So I sold my drugs and had to quit out of the game, and that was it. So anyway, we're just gonna, there's this building over here we have to run to. It's somewhere in the center of the complex. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're going to make our sale. All right. And that stuff is really worth nothing. That's junk. I shouldn't have picked that up. I should have got the widow. Oh, well. What are you going to do? And they take all our slam. Yeah, they took all of our slam. Oh, no, they left us with two SU. So I got one container still sitting in there. So we'll see how that goes. Um, okay. Did I see somebody running around over there by my ship earlier? Let me see. Oh, yeah, see? Oh, there's somebody. Oh, man. This is not good. Man, I hate these people. They're probably going to try and get on my ship. Man. He hasn't shot me yet, and he certainly could have if he wanted to. I'm not armed, so I'm just going to run over here and see if I can get him to follow me. Follow me. Follow me. There's my ship. Is he still behind me, maybe? Let's hide here for a minute. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, I think he has a gun, too. We're going to run back through here. Uh, I don't see him. All right. We'll run up over this thing. Uh, fly and leap. I'm hoping he's still kind of following me, maybe. And I'm going to run around back here and run right back to the ship. <laughs> Hurry. Uh, okay, I don't see him yet. Okay, the ramp's coming down, back on. Close the ramp. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hurry, hurry, hurry. All right. Oh, my God. That was... That was hard stopping for a minute. I mean, I did make my sale, you know, who cares if I got killed, I guess. Just, you know. I prefer not to die. All right, let's get out of here before I find out he has a ship somewhere else. That I'm not aware of. So yeah, we won't be going back there again tonight, I think. <laughs> that's uh, that's not an experience I want to go through again. Oh, yeah, let's see, he's behind us. All right, we're just going to, whatever this is, yeah, we're just going to go there. All right. Cool. Now let's head back to uh, our box. Okay, so we need to find some place close. Let's try an OM2. Huh, didn't clear. 
Now that's better. Sometimes you have to cycle your um, quantum drive. I don't know why. All right, so let's try and find something that is close. I think I'll have to go to TPF. I mean, that's not bad. I bet you that'll put me within 100 kilometers. Okay, so yeah, so 105 kilometers, that's not bad. Oh, I'll fly that far without having to do all the gyrations we just did just to get there, you know, originally. Um, and this guy said this guy's fast enough. We'll get it crank into probably close to, uh, what is that, nine, or I bet you close to a thousand. Oh, there's a ship on our left. Well, it didn't turn red, so I guess we're okay. Nah, it's still kind of just floating there. Huh. I mean, I do have... Yeah, you just keep on going. I mean, I do have, what, the, the Yang... With the size 3 laser, laser repeaters now, they downgrade them. He's still going, so we're fine. So basically, I have a pair of uh, size 3 laser repeaters and a pair of size 2 gimbaled. All gimbaled up, so... I mean, I'd be all right. But yeah, we're practically there. I mean, that's fine. If it takes me a couple minutes to get to jump town, now, I don't know what the um, what the rate is that uh, the, the jump town puts out. Uh, slam. I guess we'll find out. That's pretty good. I'll take that. All right, doesn't look like much has changed since we've been here last, so let's uh, let's see how much s how much slam is generated since we've been gone. Door closing. Yep. Good. 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 All right. Back inside. I picked the C one. Twenty SC. That that is just crazy talk. Why do we have, and I'm going to take it, of course, but another 20 SCU in like 10 minutes, maybe? We'll take the Widow this time. All right, let's buy some Widow. Awesome. 65% full. Eh. Do I want the Alatron? Nah, I'm not going to bother with it. That's good. Back to the ship. Good. I mean, again, I could have hung out for probably five minutes and gotten all the uh, slam I wanted, which, yeah, I probably should. And if you do that, honestly, I would sit in my ship and monitor the uh, scope for ships. Don't like, don't like hang out at the terminal, you know, waiting for the, just 
give yourself like a five minute timer on your phone or whatever. And just uh, go check it in five minutes and you'll probably have probably another 10 or 15 SCU. It's crazy. So anyway, we're going to Hurston. I'm not messing around with uh, Brios again. That was that was a little concerning. I don't know what that guy was doing, but he definitely was not up to any good. So we're gonna go to uh, the uh, Ornith and Reclamation Center on on Hurston. All right, here we are. Good old Hurston. All right, so um, the Orinth is is basically a scrapyard, so it's going to be one of these uh, diamond-shaped... Oh, there is right there. And that is very close to um, uh, to Lorville. So I'm just going to fly right down there. And, of course, there's somebody here. <laughs> Can't win. Usually this place is vacant. I almost never see anybody here, except on occasion this is the spot for... Um, I've seen uh, uh, bounties conducted uh, over uh, the uh, Orinth, and Recla Orinth and Reclamation. Disposal Reclamation. Was it Reclamation Disposal? I forget. Let's see what this guy's flying. That's a, uh, that's just, is that a, uh, I think it's an Aurora. So I don't think I'm going to have any problems with an Aurora. <laughs> we'll just do a real quick scan of the area here, you know, take a look around. See if anybody's trying to cause some trouble. I think we're okay. I don't see anybody. And there's the building we're going to be going to right there. So I'm gonna try. I'm going to land right over here. trying to run into anything and of course I got my reshader back on <laughs> back in uh, night vision mode otherwise I'd be flying blind right now <sighs> gotta watch out for that uh, little turret down there darn it Man, this thing has wide wings, too. Look at those wings. Just crazy. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Of course, I, I forgot to test the uh, ramp, but... Yeah, that's okay. Actually, this is like one of the worst places to not test your ramp, because... If it is too high, gravity's normal, so you can't. There's no chance of uh, of you, uh, be, you know, being able to jump and get to the ramp. All right, let's close her up. Oops, there we go. A little windy there. And there's the building right there. Go in here to the No Questions Asked Terminal. And see what they'll take. I know they'll take the slam. Awesome. And the Widow. Yay, Widow. Awesome. 
so there you go so um yeah so that's how you can set up your your very own uh, drug route um to one of the locations that is not that doesn't have a quantum marker to it and the reason one of the reasons why i like doing that is because they're less traveled like the other location you can buy slam in is a private property on selling but um anybody can go there so you know there's a pretty good chance you'll bump into somebody or you know i'm like i haven't been there in a while so i don't know what the i don't know um how much slam you can get out of there but i bet you it's not as much as you can get out of jump town and i can fly right back to jump town and be there in a few minutes once i get to damar you know nice easy run over there so uh so yeah so that's my that's my uh that's how i um create my very own drug route uh just using a package that's it sometimes if i know i'm going to be uh running all night doing this i'll i'll get three boxes and i'll set up at all three locations and you know if, if one starts getting a little busy i'll fly to the other one like you know i'll fly over on uh over at uh, paradise cove or uh, and that's over on walla now which is weird because <laughs> for the longest time it was on Lyria. I, I just can't get used to all the new locations. And then there's Raven's Roost, which used to be on, I'm going to say Clio, I think. And that's moved to Microtech. So, yeah. But I would go to each of those locations. I'd put a box, you know, by the, by the building. And then I would just fly between them, you know, collecting drugs. And, and if it got a little hot, you know, I'd move on to another location. And as long as my package was there, as long as I didn't uh, get a 30K, I knew I was good for all of my uh, all of my different uh, locations. And it was great. It was, uh, you know, I mean, it took a little while to fly between them, but, you know, if you want to move from one to the other, but, uh, you know, that's okay. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day. Scrap Jet out.